What is up, everybody? X here, and it's it's been a while since I've done a regular old commentary like this because I've just been doing the other series videos, mainly because I haven't had much to talk about. This is why I've been doing those videos. But uh, yeah, main point I wanted to do is wish ever wish all you guys a happy holidays because it is that time of season where there is candy canes everywhere, and that I'm probably going to indulge in liters upon liters of eggnog. Like I do every year. I don't know what it is, but I just love eggnog. It's just amazing. But I only drink it during Christmas, even though it could theoretically make it throughout the year. It's just something about Christmas time that uh, I, uh, I have the need to consume <laughs> liters upon liters of eggnog. And I do not regret it because it is awesome and eggnog is awesome. And I just tried, I recently tried candy cane flavored eggnog, which is the greatest thing ever, but sweet as hell which I like. So yeah, it's pretty much only me that drinks eggnog in my family. It's like buy a few liters every week just for me to drink. But uh, yeah, I, I love eggnog. What are some like Christmas things that you guys like? Because I'm pretty sure everyone has their own like little Christmas things, whether it be like the candy canes or like the little nutcracker chocolates or whatever. I know that a lot of people have lots of little things. Like I like eggnog and I like the snow. I mean, I absolutely love the snow. I, uh, I, there's a lot of people that complain about the snow, but, uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. I love tons of snow. And a fun little fact about me. When I was born, it was approximately minus 44 degrees Celsius outside. So it was pretty much my mom went into labor and my dad's driving her down. Minus 44 degree weather at like 2 a.m. There's no one on the roads. There's ice everywhere. And that's how I came to be. So, yeah, that's something a little interesting about me. But uh, what are you guys doing for uh, for the holidays? Is there any, like, little special things you guys do or special rituals that you have to do that, uh, I don't know, just you reserve for doing now? It's kind of like a little fun thing that you do because, yeah, that's what that's pretty much what it is for me. And then also another benefit to this time of year is the Steam uh, Christmas sale. And, oh, God, the, the Steam Christmas sale this year. I have, I've, I'm prepared with money for this, the, the Christmas sale. So I'm going to be watching all the sales and trying to find games to come to uh, play with and just see what happens there. So that's going to be, uh, that's going to be interesting seeing what I could pick up. Hopefully, uh, pick up some good games that I can make videos on because I'm definitely planning on getting Chivalry and Ace of Spades or, <coughs> excuse me, are two, games I know I'm getting for sure because one of my I'd seen some Mesa Spade stuff and that looks awesome then my little brother had got chivalry, chivalry a while ago so now that that's on sale I'm gonna wait till it's like at least 50% off and I'm gonna pick up that so that's gonna be fun to play with and then I'm not sure what else I had to pick up I've been like debating the THQ uh bundle pack with like Darksiders and Company of Heroes and Saints Row and Warhammer 40k and I don't, I don't know I'm not too sure it's like I want to get it because it's so cheap, but I don't know if I'm going to play it much. And that's like the paradigm of the Steam Christmas sales. Everything is so cheap, you just want to buy it for the sake that it's cheap. It's like Steam's... <laughs> oh, that was the... they're brilliant. It's brilliant. I want to buy it because it's cheap, just for the sheer fact that it's cheap. Oh, it's so... it's so hard to make the decision because, like... This this bundle is worth, usually worth two hundred and seven dollars, and it's twenty five bucks. It's like why wouldn't I buy that? It's only twenty five dollars. But it's like oh my god, it's so hard. It's oh I don't know. I don't know. It's like usually when it comes to money, I am very conservative with it. I careful of my spending all the time, and it's just like uh then. Once the Steam Christmas sales come, it's like I have to spend money. Oh, it's not like last year. Last year with the with the Steam sales, I had had a whole bunch of TF2 items that I had stockpiled because back then I was planning on getting Modern Warfare 3 with uh, Steam items, but no one was selling it. So I had like 30 keys in TF2, like just stockpiled. So I got a whole bunch of things like I had got Bas uh, Bastion, Bastion or whatever. Uh, Binding of Isaac, Magic Gathering 2012, and I got, I got, yeah, I got Magic Gathering 2012 for one of my friends as well. And it's like, yeah, I just got, I got a whole bunch of stuff 
because I had so much, uh, so much money, value on items. Too bad the uh, Steam Marketplace that's up now wasn't back then, because then I, I could have just put so much stuff in my Steam wallet, and that would have been just awesome, just like having all that inside there. It's like that's the main reason I play TF2 now. It's just for the items, so I could trade, and I can get money value items. That's like the only reason I play TF2 much anymore. Other than relaxing, because TF2 is a pretty relaxing game to play. <clears throat> just because it is so, like, uh, just so silly and so chill most of the time. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hope you guys have a good holidays, and I will talk to you guys next time.